നമസ്കാരം റിയൽ ടോക്സിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ഇന്ന് നമ്മോടൊപ്പം ചേരുന്നത് അനുഷ്ക ബാനർജിയാണ് പ്രശസ്ത ഗായികയാണ് ഹായ് അനുഷ്ക വെൽക്കം ടു റിയൽ ടോക്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ പ്ലേജർ ഹാവിങ് യു ഓൺ അവർ ഷോ All right, let's just uh, start. You have been uh, practicing dance, music, modeling, acting from a very small age. Yes. And uh, how did you understand that music was your forte? Uh, yeah, uh, so this is quite the story. I, uh, like you said, I uh, started with all, the, all these other things, dancing, modeling and all. Uh, there was actually drawing, dancing, painting, acting, modeling. all of these things uh, right from when i was in class 1 i mean very young kg 1 or something uh, except for singing actually so i started with all of this because uh, my mother my both my parents but especially my mother she always wanted me to have uh, a career in the entertainment field and uh, you know to have a stable job there so for that uh, she wanted me to learn all of these things uh, and uh, yeah she had she especially wanted me to be an actress oh like nice. so which is why all these acting uh, modeling and all but never music because they thought uh, the amount of dedication uh, sadhana so to speak uh, we have to put it to music they were not sure if i be able to put the same uh, amount of dedication and all so that's why uh, music but they did not put me into that initially but uh, i skipping to class 4 fourth grade uh, we were having a free period and our teacher asked us to come on the uh, small stage and uh, perform anything we would like to i mean dance say whatever uh, so i thought uh, we always had a very you know musical family always songs used to always play uh, so from there i picked up one or two songs i say you know just subconsciously uh, so uh, i thought uh, you know for dancing we need a background music to be playing so uh, there uh, at that moment there was nothing there that could be that so that music could be played so i thought maybe why not sing something so i just randomly sang one or two songs that i picked up they just by any yeah yeah i do actually uh, it was a beautiful song of shreya kushal from the movie devdas if uh, you heard two lines yeah yeah absolutely beri piya bada vedardi dil ka dard so that's when my teacher informed my parents that i can sing and they were so they were very awestruck i mean they have never yeah. heard me sing in, at home so they were like when did you even learn how to sing <laughs> uh so yeah my teacher you know usually teachers talk about the students academics and all but uh, all my teacher talked about was how they should put me into singing yeah, exactly. yeah. so uh the moment we heard this i decided that uh, all the things that i was learning prior to that um dancing and all i leave all those then and there and i just started focusing, focusing on music so that's how my journey started <laughs> and then it moved to sarigama pal in chance yes right in zee bangla yeah yeah uh so this was uh, my first ever reality show uh in the year 2013 i was very very young very little <laughs> uh i never expected to be honest to go how far i did uh, till the finale uh but yeah i went to the finals and went on to become top 5 so that's how it went it was uh, my first ever reality show experience 
and uh, I absolutely loved it. So, how was it on being on camera on stage <laughs> at a very young age? Uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, uh, from the moment I started music, uh, we started watching all these reality shows on TV. So, uh, I'm from uh, West Bengal, Kolkata, yes. India. Uh, so. Uh, there we used to watch the very uh, first reality shows that we started watching were I guess Indian Idol and uh, this uh, Sare uh, yeah. Bengal. So uh, the fact that I went on, went to Sare Gamapa, I mean I've always wanted to be there in Little Jams, Sare Gamapa. So it was a very very nice experience and being on stage, you know the moment you see that cross sign on the stage where we are supposed to stand and say that gives you palpitations. I mean, seriously, you'll always get nervous jitters in a very good way, obviously, but you'll always get nervous jitters whenever you see that cross and you're supposed to go stand there on the lights nice. focusing on you. Uh, but yeah, just, you know, I what I used to do is close my eyes and just give myself into the moment and just sing what I've practiced. Like you said, uh, <laughs> two hit shows in your uh, state of Sarigamapa Little Chance in Indian yes, Idol yes. and yes. you cross both the stages. Yeah, I'm so thankful uh, by God's grace obviously. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm so so grateful to yeah. <laughs> uh, I was watching a couple of bits from Indian Idol. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you have uh, tried different kinds of music. Yes. Uh, in front of different people, all uh, legends. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we had three legends itself as judges. Yes. yes. And what is your favorite? Of, what is your favorite performance in Indian Idol? Uh, in Indian Idol, uh, quite uh, shockingly, uh, the song that I sang uh, in my last episode mm -hmm. there, that was my favorite performance of mine and favorite song. It was Hum Dil Le Chuke I would love to hear that. Uh, yeah, uh, absolutely. remember hearing it uh, and it's a very iconic song yeah, yeah it is pretty tough to to uh, play it's it it's pretty tough to uh, pretty tough to you know execute on stage but uh, yeah we practiced a lot <laughs> so and uh, in idol was there any song that or any uh, uh, performance that actually was a challenge to you to you know uh, learn um, uh, so uh, i think uh, I'd say the uh, song that I sang uh, in the audition, mm -hmm. uh, it was Bolna Halke Halke. So I sang it for uh, the grand audition, the main audition after which you get a pass to Indian Idol to actually be on the show and be a contestant. So uh, tough to execute in the sense I was very nervous. Mm -hmm. I mean that was the main audition and I had to crack it somehow. Uh, so I was nervous, you know, how, how the, the song pressure. would go. The pressure was uh, sort of getting into me. But uh, yeah, it was okay. I think it happens with all the contestants there. The Before the auditions, the audition stage is very, very, you it's know. make it or break it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So that tested a little bit, right? find very lucky to meet in the Indian Idol. I think you guys are very fortunate to meet all these legends. <laughs> um, so, uh, first, I think, uh, I'd say A.R. Rahman sir. Uh, meeting him was, oh my god, I never thought I'd see him in front of me. I mean, I've always wanted to work with him as a, a singer. I, I mean, I hope it comes true someday, but to see him in person, uh, it was out of the world, the moment, so yeah. And uh, what song did you sing before in that? Uh, I, I think uh, actually it was a sessional episode, I mean. Ah, okay. A few contestants would sing in front of him, ah. like uh, six uh, contestants would sing in front of A.R. Rahman and during the second half of our shoot, somebody else would come 
instead of your Rama sir. Oh, yeah. And in front of him, the other, uh, the remaining contestants would sing. Oh. So this is how it happened. So I was in the second half, quite disheartening, uh, disheartening. But but yeah. if uh, you get a chance to sing in front of him, which song would you sing of him? I think I'd sing Chupke Se, uh, one of his songs, which I sang for uh, the first uh, initial audition of it. Uh -huh. So this is what I would sing. Right. And uh, post Indian Idol, how was it uh, going back home? How was the media to you? How was it? Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, I was excited to see how uh, my parents, obviously, because uh, after so many months, we are. I'm again going to see them, meet them. Uh, but uh, actually, you know, while we are in Indian Idol, we never uh, get to understand how the world views us as. I mean, we used to ask each other, are we really popular? Do people know us? Do they listen to our songs? Um, but the moment I went back in the airport, uh, in the airport itself, people were standing. I was so surprised. I mean, uh, yeah, so they were standing with bouquets and all. And I didn't know. I was, I just, I was drowsy and all, a little bit sleepy. And I suddenly saw all these cameras and all flashing. Uh, so I live in Chandigarh, my parents and all, they live in Chandigarh, right now I'm based in Mumbai. Okay. So in Chandigarh I went after Indian Idol. So they all greeted me and my university also. Mm -hmm. uh, they all invited me uh, and then uh, even my father's office, they did this whole, you know, a very grand uh, welcome right. thing. So yeah, I was very, very surprised pleasantly. <laughs> And uh, what any other projects that come came your way? You did a couple of albums. Yes, yes, I have done a couple of albums and uh, a few uh, very big Bollywood uh, banner uh, movie project is going on. Mm -hmm. So I am the playback singer for that movie. Uh, right now I can't uh, disclose any more details than that. So we will be eagerly waiting for your release. Absolutely, please do. And uh, as soon as I get a hint that the movie is going to be released. Maybe say in a week or so, I'll definitely let all of you know. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, could you sing one of your album songs for us? Uh, yeah. <coughs> What do you think in yourself has changed before and after Idol? How has it been? Um, I think uh, personally, I've uh, I've learned a lot of things after going to Indian Idol. Um, I mean, how a lot of things I've learned. I mean, little little things in my personality. Uh, uh, small small things have changed. What I've what I've learned, I've all added, uh, incorporated those into how I uh, you know deal with life every day. Uh, but as a person in general, Anushka Banerjee, the way I was before in Idol, I am the same. I think uh, now also. Uh, you have grown musically. Yeah, musically I have grown a lot. Uh, I believe there is still a long way to go, obviously. Also, uh, there is a lot more reach now after Indian Idol, a reach as a musician. I mean, there are a lot of people listening to me, waiting for me to release songs, and uh, this was something I've always desired. There's a lot of fan pages for yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of people <laughs> waiting for your releases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is, I mean, I've never thought uh, I could accomplish all of this. I've always wanted to. So now that I have accomplished a little part of what I've always wanted, I'm so so happy. Okay. <laughs> We started hearing a lot of your songs which were sung by Lataji before yes. and uh, I think you have a little uh, place in your heart for Lataji. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Can absolutely. you hum a few lines of her favourite songs of hers? Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, one of my favourite songs of hers is a very beautiful song composed by Mother Mohan. I'll just sing two lines of it. <laughs> Mujhe 
Now, uh, how uh, do you still are in touch with uh, the old contestants in Indian Idol? Mm. When you guys catch up? Uh, yeah, we are all in touch uh, via our phones. Uh, but uh, catch up in person happens only for during concerts. Mm. Like here, I've met a uh, lot of my Indian Idol contestants while uh, I'm doing this Dipavali Utsav 2022. So I met with Sirisha Bhagavatula, Nachi Ketlele, Vaishnav Girish. Uh, so like you know, meeting with contestants happens during the shows concerts. only in person because we are also busy in our uh, daily lives with recordings shows and shootings and all so yeah because your batch of Indian Idol was such a vibrant young yeah, batch yeah. a lot of reels <laughs> and I think social media yeah, boomed yeah. at your time so yeah everyone is really eagerly waiting out yes. to watch yours yes all right <laughs> and uh, one song that made everyone very emotional in Indian Idol was Luka Chakri Luka Chakri Yes absolutely Luka Chakri This uh, really got everyone on screen and off screen very emotional. <laughs> Is a world tour is a lot of places you have visited. Uh, mm -hmm. Your voice has taken you to countries. <laughs> uh, just uh, run around those experiences. Um, uh, well, I've uh, gone to Africa, mm -hmm. so um, it was once again a very, very pleasant experience. And uh, all the people there, I mean, native people of Africa, also knew us. So I was really surprised and uh, so, so happy. And there were a lot of people, I mean around uh, say 1000, 2000 people uh, in the audience so yeah it was a wonderful experience and uh, yeah uh, after that uh, I think I've uh, gone to Indonesia as well, Jakarta so it was a very very nice experience there a lot of people when they came to know we are coming on that very day they came you know booked a ticket and came to uh, Jakarta to meet with us in person so yeah, it was a very very nice experience once again. Uh, and uh, coming up, our, uh, I'll go to Mauritius, and uh, then we have a few USA, UK tours also lined up. So yeah, these are the places I get to visit. So all of yours, if they're in Mauritius, <laughs> they all can come and uh, join your music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and uh, how has uh, this experience, you know, changed you? This going uh, to different countries. Um, singing songs there. I think it's a different uh, experience on stage and uh, you know, uh, you know, addressing a huge crowd. Yeah. How yeah. how was that? Uh, it was very nice and uh, singing playback singing mm -hmm. and singing in reality show stage and singing you know concert stage. These are all three different things. Mm -hmm. Absolutely different. Uh, like you said, in concert we need to address a whole huge audience. Okay. Uh, so it's always a very fun thing to do, to engage with audience and see what they would like to hear, what are their preferences and uh, surprisingly uh, all the audiences know, I mean they absolutely remember what what were the exact songs we sang for the exact episode. So that's a very fun thing to do. They are like sing this song from this episode, you've sung this, this, this. So please, please sing that. So uh, all these requests keep coming up. So yeah, it's a very, very pleasant experience. It's more of a responsibility. Now, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. And um, one more thing that I would like to ask you is, you have uh, you know got, uh, gotten to all these uh, stages. Is there any one uh, very memorable concert that you've been? That, you know, very close to your heart. Hmm. Um, so. I think I'd say uh, the Indonesia concert that I did. It is very, very close to my heart. 
uh, and also I did a concert in West Bengal uh, in my in my native hometown. Uh, so yeah, that concert was also very very close to my heart uh, because because of the vibes. You know, the moment you get on stage, you get to know uh, the pulse of the yeah audience. yeah yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it moves through the stage as if it's you know think of the stage as a whole heart and it's pumping, full of the audience's energy and all. So uh, what all energy we give to the audience is reciprocated back to us. So it's a whole cycle. So yeah, these two are very very beautiful concerts. Uh, now it's the generation of social media. It is uh, everyone from any nook and corner of a place uh, can. Come into the spotlight, and they can be tomorrow's star. Yes. And what do you think? Uh, what is your piece of advice to our uh, little music buds that's coming up? New <laughs> talents. What to be your? Uh, yeah. Um, so um, the harsh truth is that there's obviously going to be a lot of failures mm -hmm. in this. I mean, you are not going to crack something just because you really want that to happen. So there is going to be a lot of failures, but take it. Very sportingly, and uh, never lose hope. I mean, if you are not able to crack something, don't lose hope there. That this did not happen. That doesn't mean that all the other aims and aspirations that you have will not you won't be able to crack. It's not like that. So always have your hope intact and just keep working hard. That's all I'd say. <laughs> and. Uh, For apart from the new projects and all of that, is there something of your own coming up in new album? Yes, absolutely. A song is going to come out, a single is going okay. to come out very very soon. It's going to release very soon. Uh, so we are just waiting for the correct time to release it. So okay. that's why it's on hold. <laughs> it's on hold. Yeah. All right. And uh, now there are a lot of singers that sing side by side. Uh, mm -hmm. Like today, of course, Rishi, Vaishnav, all performing yes. with you in yes. concert. Yes. Yes. Apart from you, you know, who's your other favorite voice? Um, apart from me, I won't be able to pinpoint because uh, you know, uh, in Indian Idol during our season, oh, मतलब everyone was uh, an absolute league on their own. Mm. So I can't choose like this because all of them are my favorites. Absolutely, everyone is doing yeah. something or the other. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like just now, I thought, oh, Sirish Adi. But then I thought, no, Nachiket Lele is also my favorite. Mm -hmm. But then I thought, no, Vaishnav Kirish is also my favorite. So how to choose? All of them are my absolute favorites. All right. And uh, is there any new languages that you are performing in? Um, yeah. Um, so a new, uh, a South, um, yeah, a song is going to come out soon. We are, uh, you know, the recording and the shooting and all. Uh, we will do it very very soon it's a lot uh, lined up for us <laughs> yeah 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 a lot is lined up for you all so please stay tuned <laughs> beautiful in indian idol like i said before there are a lot of um, guests that came in the show yes. very much important to the music world yes is there someone you thought you could see and you couldn't make it like you couldn't see them when you wished to see them um well Okay, so I wanted to meet uh, Rekha ji mm. a lot, uh, but I couldn't. Uh, <laughs> well, I I hope we meet somewhere else. Maybe uh, if she is thinking of doing a film soon, maybe I can sing there. Uh, great aspirations, but yeah, all right, all right. But uh, one more last song, I think, because we are be the best way to close our interview. <coughs> one more song. Yeah. Thank you so much Anushka for being a part of Real Talks. It's a pleasure having you on the show. Thank, Thank you so you. much.